that broke my heart when I saw when I saw Harry when I saw Harry Potter trending on Twitter and then I found out the reason I was like, oh my god, it's bad, bro. But let's just hop right into it. So um I don't think them cat how can I put this in a nice way? Okay. The thing about racism is the thing about prejudice is and I'm glad we live in a day and age where we can talk about this now. You're going to see a lot of moments pop up in entertainment, in politics, where you'll see moments of unconscious racial bias, unconscious racism. So for you to cast this character, Najini, who more or less becomes a uh, who's in a fucking circus for freaks and then becomes trapped in a slave form and then becomes more or less this pet slash slave to a dark wizard or white man. Really a snake man, this nigga ugly ass snake man. But there is a little bit of racial insensitivity to that because more or less there is a stereotype that hangs over the head of Asian women of them being naturally subservient, more more fat, quick to obey. And I think that's a lot of the reason why this bringing this up. I'm not going to dive deep into this, just saying this. How if you notice, if you go to a lot of cities in in the United States of America, you see these old ass white dudes be in their late 50s or 60s and be having a wife who's like 21 or 20 and 20 that they this fresh. I'm talking about who's fresh from Malaysia, fresh from Thailand, fresh from the Philippines, can hardly speak English. Like, I think a lot of that has to do with that. So. I don't think J.K. Rowling or the casting director was being racist, was thinking racistly when they cast Claudia Kim to be in that position. But I do think up until that point, there probably was a lot of. Here's the thing. I got to tell you this. We all have prejudice. We all have biases. And I think as minorities, we get mad. We get mad when we see a portrayal of one of our race in a negative light. And it's based off of a stereotype, more or less. I think when J.K. Rowling or the casting director had that moment, I'm a call which cast Claudia Kim and say you look perfect to be in this role. I feel like you could say that that was a moment of quote unquote unconscious racism. Prime example I'm gonna bring up is for those of you guys who are really into the Harry Potter world, you probably know what I'm talking about. There's a character in the Harry Potter series called Kingsley Shacklebolt, and in the physical in the physical description of him in the book, when you read him, he's this bald headed black guy with a deep voice and one gold earring in his hair, and he's bald. He has broad shoulders, broad shoulders. She describes his nigga more or less like a football player, like a linebacker, and that actually is a stereotype of black men. That is a stereotype to be the tall black dude with the deep voice, look like Michael Duncan from the Green Mile. That's a stereotype. Now, it turned out to be cool. We we was cool with it because he ended up with being a really strong character and ended, and ended up becoming the Minister of Magic. But that is a common stereotype of black dudes, like the bald-headed black nigga with the deep voice and the, the, the Morgan Freeman voice and the earring. That's a stereotype of black men. And reality is we all don't look like that, nigga. Like, I have the voice, but we all don't fucking look like that. So... But that is a stereotype. So you could have took that and say, so what you're trying to say, that's the first significant black character that you have in the book has to look like Michael Jordan and Michael Duncan. Like, but we didn't trip because it was a negative portrayal versus with this woman. It is a negative portrayal because not only is it a bad light, which I don't really care about the character being bad, but you're you you're you're kind of. You're kind of hitting to a you're kind of hitting to a negative stereotype that already hangs over the head of Asian women as it is. And I didn't realize how pissed off this could piss people off until because when I first, when I see people talking about shit on Twitter, I, I rarely I rarely run into the hype with I'm rarely like, who gives a fuck? I'm usually thinking like, bro, y'all all tripping. Y'all really need to get some recreational plans. Take your trip to Lake Tahoe. But then when I started seeing the avatars, all the people who were pissed off. And I keep seeing Asian, Asian. I just kept seeing like Asian women, Asian women who were really pissed off. I, I started thinking like, you know what? Maybe they're having, maybe they're having a moment where, maybe they're having the moment that black people have where we get like how we have and we get mad about something and white people just can't undergrasp the issue of why we're mad, why we, they can't grasp what's going on. So I started thinking from their perspective of if there are, if they're all this outrage, what's making the, what there's, there's gotta be something there has to be something significant that's going on. It can't just it can't just be a hundred fucking Asian people just mad at one time for no fucking reason. What's something something's going on? Like there's something significant about this I'm not seeing. So then I thought about it in depth and I thought, man, that well, I mean, that is a stereo that is a stereotype. And so I think, yeah, I mean, the the Asian woman pet to a Asian woman playing the pet to the white man, that can be offensive. So I don't think I, I, it's it's one of those things, bro. I'm always gonna say, 
If you're going to portray a stereotype of a race in a movie, just know it better be a positive one. It better be a positive one. You know, you can't, that's what people get mad at, more or less. Like, if, like, 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 it'd be a positive one. Nobody got, nobody got mad at the movie Ready, Play, Ready Player One, where the one Asian nigga that you have in the movie, this nigga is a samurai, not only is this nigga a samurai in his avatar in the virtual reality, this nigga is a samurai in real life with a Kenpo sword or whatever that form is, whatever that shit is called. But he was cool. And not only, this nigga summons Gundam at the end of the, nobody thought how racist that shit was. This nigga's a samurai in real life. This f- Samurai in real life, samurai in virtual reality, and this nigga Sermon's Gundam as his as his as his, as his trump card at the end of the movie. Like nobody thought about how racist that was, but it was a positive portrayal. You know. So with that being said, I want you guys to let me know what do you think about my opinions about this. What's your opinions about what was going on? Um, with that, do you think it was racist? Let me know in the comments below, and we'll have the conversation later on. Thank you for listening to the five.